Good morning to the session. <coughs> the problem name is lazy bartender. Assume that the bar offers drink, there are 14 integers. So, I'll take an example to make you understand the problem. Customer C0 likes. Customer C0 likes. Five drinks. Whose numbers are three, seven, five, two, nine. Customer C1. <coughs> Customer C1 likes. Five. Customer C2 likes. Drinks two and three. Customer C3 likes. Drink four. Customer C4 likes. Drinks. Say three, four, five, seven. The customer is. <coughs> Customer is said to be satisfied. Satisfied if if he gets he gets at least he gets at least at least one brand of his choice. One brand of his choice. Is a hard choice. Okay. So find, find how many <coughs> minimum drinks to be supplied to be supplied by bartender. Satisfy, satisfy all the customers. Let us go. Ideally, solve this problem. Start a new file. Get n is number of customers. Get n is number of customers. So read. The choices of all the customers. The choices are given as lines of text separated by commas. So you know how to do it. Input, split, add, add comma, and then map the result of strings into integers. Then make this a list. Make this a list. Okay. So let us call this as let us call this as the choice of customers. Let us have one list by name choices, which is empty in the beginning. Now every choice has some numbers. So for for number in choice, number in choice, you append this number to choices. Two choices. So and then print, and then print choices. No, there is no spelling mistake so far. So let us run the program. This extend again save as an example. Okay. So there are three customers. Customer one likes one, two, three. Customer two likes two, three, four. Customer three likes three, four, five. Should have been a number instead of choice. No. Better run it again. So three customers, one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five are the choices. So one, two, three are the first customer, two, three, four are the second customer, three, four, five are the first customer. So let us find out <coughs> count of each brand using dictionaries. 
D will actually form from keys of child from brands from brands. I'm using from keys method. So one is these choices. So I get I get a dictionary. The key has unique choices. Key has unique choices. Many of you already know it. So there are two brands, one and two. So two and three. So one, two, three are unique brands. Default value is none. Let us get the value. Let us get how many times each brand repeated. For that, you know what to do. So key in three dot keys. Value of key, the value of key is its count from choices. It's count from it's count from choices. Now, now you print T, you get brand and then how many times each brand repeated. Again, take a simple example. The two customers, one and two are choices of first customer, two and three are choices of second customer. So brand one repeated one time, brand two, two time, brand three, one time. Okay. Now assume that maximum count of each brand is zero. Is zero. Now if if number of times each brand repeated nothing but value is more than the both end maximum then maximum is equal to maximum is equal to number of times each brand repeated so for i in range start from the end go to zero you go to one i'm sorry one okay if if maximum of times each brand repeated is equal to is equal to i times i times then then print number of brands to be supplied brands to be number of brands is equal to one number of brands should be equal to equal to one if i is n number of brands should be one how do you get it you can get it n minus n minus i. What is n minus? Initially, i is there. What is n minus n? Zero. Minus one. So, what is this? This is n minus n plus one. When i is n, number of branches is one. When i is two, when i is n minus one, number of branches are two. So, finished. This is solution. Okay. So, I I leave something to you uh, to explore and understand. We are explaining everything. I hope you understand it. Keep watching and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.